All right, so first I want to start by saying Kalalal Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, which is to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I also want to say double honors to the apostles and elders of James Stone, and to you, I came out there just uh, pushing this truth in sincerity, do full lek, shalom. Uh, this is about the Canaan from James Jamaica, and uh, this is a more of a comforting uh, type of lesson or exhortation and to you I came out there that are you know going through whatever you're going through uh, this is just basically a reminder an encouragement to keep holding on and you know we need to remind ourselves and each other as much as the day goes by you know because we have to keep ourselves um, stern firm and grounded because the wind will shake you, or the wind is shaking, and it's going to sh shake more and more. So we have to just keep ourselves, well, Lord, pray that Yah Bashim Yahashai keep us, um, so we basically be found um, on a sturdy foundation, which is Yahashai. Now, on screen, there's a scripture here, I'm going to basically take the scripture, uh, well, I'm going to take it from here. And I'm and this is um, 1 Thessalonians 3, I'm going to go to... Um, Verse 2, let me just start from, I'll just start from 1, right? It says, Wherefore, when we could no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone, and sent Timotheus, our brother and minister of Yahweh, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Yahweh Shai uh, Mashiach, um, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith. So we need, you know, to remind each other to, uh, about comforting each other in our faith. You know what I mean? Going forward. All right, let's continue. That no man should be moved by these afflictions, for yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. So if you're about in this truth and you've been here for, well, from you getting to this truth, you should know that we are about facing affliction. It, the Bible tells you that... Um, Basically, you know, prepare yourself for, for temptation and constantly endure. You know what I mean? If you come to serve the Lord, that's what you ex you're expected. You know what I mean? So we are aware of these things. But even though we are aware of these things, you, keep, you, you have to just keep reminding yourself continuously. You know what I mean? Praying, fasting. You know what I mean? Uh, going through the scriptures. Keeping yourself uh, militant um, in this uh, truth. You know what I mean? And having hope that the Lord will keep you and protect you. You know what I mean? And we have to be our brother's keeper. When you see brothers going through uh, whatever um, means are, you know, evil that they are experiencing. You know what I mean? We have to remind them about being spiritual in it and all of that. Hey, I'm seeing some things happening to brothers, yo. You know what I mean? And some things technically sometimes they happen is not physically to the, to the person but to people that they do love and that affects them yo mentally physically also so we as brothers have to we have to look out and you know encourage each other in these times you know what i mean because we all want to reach the finish line we know it's not um our will who reached there you know what i mean sad the will and power of yahweh Hashem you shy you know what i mean but as a brother we have a duty to 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 to, to bring forth you know what i mean and that's what we're trying to do at, 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 um as our very best and I mean also the scripture says in Peter I remember quite exactly it says judgment begin at the house of the Lord first must begin at the house of the Lord first and um, yeah we are going we are being judged we're being purified we're being tried we're being refined so that we can become come, we can become that perfect um, being that the Lord is looking for striving for a perfection as Yahusha is also is perfect and I mean are made perfect so, and he went through his uh, perfection through suffering. And we are going through our suffering. Hey, I'm not going to tell you it's going to be a, a nice feeling. And that hey, it's, a, it's a walk in the park situation. However, we have to uh, remain focused. And I mean, remain um, aware of these things. Alright? So that we can um, basically hang on to faith. And at the end, endure. Alright? So comfort each other with these scriptures, pray for each other, pray for yourselves also, 
You know what I mean? Prayer is begging and we have to beg. We are basically at the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And even going through our course, even at these points, you know what I mean? We ain't perfect. Or we're striving for perfection, you know? Where there are things that we will slip up on, things that we will uh, blunder on, that even will cause you know, problems in our life. But we still humbly seek for forgiveness, humbly seek um, for mercy, and hope that the same mercy um, is passed uh, to us and to our brothers that are fighting the same fight that we are fighting. All right, so I'm not gonna jump around. Just a little word of exhortation unto you. I came out there, you know. Hope someone was strengthened and edified by this. You know, I mean, now we can actually pass on the energy that we have to other brothers. You know, keeping each other grounded as much as possible in this faith. So that I want to say again, Kalalal Yahawab, Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Rakakodash. Until you come out there, Shalom.